guys. Well, you know, I've been using my tiller tender here uh, from Simrad. I did calibrate it before I started using it, but I want to go through that process with you today. How we set this up and calibrate it so that it will follow a GPS chart or course once you get it set. Uh, the only thing you're going to need is, of course, the tiller pilot some kind of means of measuring how fast or slow you're going and how many minutes. What you want to do is go about two to three knots 450 degrees around in a circle. Now here's what they recommend here in the book and we're going to go out and we're going to do this. Uh, you get out in a nice big open area on a calm day and I'm lucky here at the Sailing Emporium there's a big area right outside uh, our pier where it's all part of the marina yet but uh, there's a big anchorage area and a pump out station and that's a that's a nice open area what you want to do is get started about two knots then hit the starboard key here a couple of times to start a slow rate of return and mark where get a visual of where you're going then what you want to do is, it's going to be in standby mode, so you hit the standby button. Uh, press the starboard key a number of times to start the slow clockwise. Then press and hold the tack function and then the starboard and port keys together. Once you do that, the port and starboard uh, LED lights will both uh, light. Allow the vessel to turn through a minimum of 11 force, 450 degrees in approximately two minutes, during which time the flux gate compass will automatically calibrate itself. And you'll know that it's calibrated itself because it'll beep when it's done. Now, if you're going too fast, the port LED light will blink, and if you're going too slow, the starboard LED light will blink. Now, if they start to blink, it's not like you've ruined the process right away. Just adjust your speed or adjust your rate of turn quickly. And you may have to go through this process a couple of times uh, just to get the timing down right. Now, if after three or four times it still hasn't done it, you need to check around and make sure that you're not having uh, compass interference from, say, a magnet or some other thing sitting too close to the tiller pilot. But it's a pretty easy process. It took me twice to do it. We're going to redo it here in a little bit and you'll see just how easy it is. Alright, so we headed out and I started my slow turn. I had to turn a little bit quicker here or there. I know you're not going to be able to see the lights flashing, but the two lights went on and I continued my rate of turn. And again, the, you know, the sound of the engine, you're not going to hear the beep, but boom, there it is. It beep, I'm all set, I'm calibrated, and that's just how easy it is.